Hi, so now we're going to connect using a password to the server. If we're going to edit it again, okay, this is the password authentication. I turn it into yes, and let's turn the public key authentication to no, and this one to yes. And after you change, make changes to this file, make sure you restart the SSH daemon. And this is again our client. And our uh, IP address of the server is 192.168.0.50. Okay, let's just change the font. Okay. So from here, from the client or from the virtual box, it will connect to the SSH server and then the SSH server will ask for a password. So let's put here password. Okay. Now let later let's look at the difference. So to connect to that, let's type SSH 192.168.0.50. Okay. You see it's port 22. The connection refused. Why? Because we changed the port to 50,000, remember? So, if you want to use another port, let's use a switch that is dash P, and then put the port here number, and then we enter. So, we SSH to the IP address with the port 50,000. Now, this art here on the server is a user of the server. So, we're going to log into that, and I just put my password, and now I'm logged in to my server okay and if you ls you can see all the files that I have here and you can already manipulate the files now let's try if we uh, that's what we use a password for okay what if we're going to use a key based password uh, no, I mean key based authentication now what does this mean okay well, it, sim it simply means that from our client, we're gonna produce a key here, okay? Somewhere, some something like a key, and this key, okay, it will unlock our access to the server. So any all of your clients should you you should make a key, and after you make a key on a key on your client you will then install this key to the server so you have a key for on a one machine you have another key for another machine and so on and so on so that's the principle behind it now how do you turn it on well first you go to again to your configuration file now let's turn off the password and uh, i think it's here where's that here so let's turn it off and then let's use a key authentication now this is going to install a key on the clients and then we will put them on the server now let's and then we will restart again the server daemon on the server and here if we actually exited out first of the server and then let's try again let's try if it will, this will still work see now I'm permission denied because I need a public key if we don't have any key on any client that is installed on the server you will never get access to that server so it's important for you to have keys on the clients which is going to connect to the server and on the next video I'm gonna uh, teach you how to install these keys and then put them on the server. This is commonly used to make our security uh, better. So how do you make those keys? Now you just need to type ssh-keygen-t rsa um, you can also put dsa well there have been there's been arguments that which one is better but I think it's just on the speed of the authentication that's um, they're saying but basically both of these encryptions are the same so you just choose R or D whatever you have and you press enter and it will create this one on this folder 
you just press enter and this one if you want a password for your key let's just not put a password anymore now that the key has been created so now let's look for that it's in a hidden folder called .ssh there you go this one with the .pub is the one we're going to transfer to the server so we successfully created a key on a client and then we're going to transfer it on the server how do you do that well now we log back in to the server right and we do support of 50,000 right make sure that uh, back to your server you allow a password login again okay because we don't have a key yet we just going to allow a password login so password authentication just change that to yes and we restart the service now that it's restarting it we're going to go back to login it's ask for the server password we put it and now we're logged into the server now we're going to from the from the server we're going to back to the client to get that key and install it in the server under the file called authorized keys which we will make later so that now that we're logged in we will use command secure file copy scp and we will specify the location of the client and followed by colon and we'll look for that file and it's called id underscore rsa dot pub right and then we'll put it on the current folder that we have which is the home folder of the user art on server now we press enter are you sure you want to connect it's uh because i haven't uh i was i delete that you just press yes okay and it's asking for a password because we're currently connecting to the client machine now we've successfully copied the fi this file client key to the server if we go back to the server now and where's that I think it's this one id underscore rsa because in a, uh, it's an rsa so let's go back let's exit now from from the server now that the file r that rsa the client key is in here we will need to make a file touch ssh that authorized keys okay if this is the first time you're going to install a key, you, you don't need to run this command anymore. But since it's the first time, let's go and look that it will be called it will be created for us. Okay, if you press enter, there you go. The authorized key is now there. Now we're going to append the contents of the client key to this file, right? To the authorized keys that we just created now that it's there okay see now that something is in here and now we need to after that's been done we need to read only the permission so that it's locked up for others to use okay so nobody but only you can see the contents of that not even the root because anyway they're not allowed to log in via root so now that it's locked and we also need to delete the client key okay back here it's up to you if you want to delete this too it's up to you okay now let's go back to our configuration file so that we will only allow um, public key password authentication was turn it to no and the public key authentication is yes okay so that and then save the file we don't allow password we just allow the key so we'll log back into our server and there you go now that we're successfully logged into the server without asking for a password we successfully installed the key in the uh, client and then we secure file copy it to back to the server to the file authorized key i hope you understood that one 
and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.